welcome to this Metalogic Design TV tip. I'm Matt Vitale and today I'm going to show you how to install the newly released Google Plus One button onto your website. Plus One is Google's answer to Facebook's like button. Soon you will see a Plus One icon in Google search results. You have the option of clicking the Plus One button for all Google's search listings and ads that appear on their search results page. Now clicking the Plus One shows that you like the content on that web page and it associates your Google profile with that search engine listing for all of your network to see. Google has been trying to bring social and search together for quite some time now, and it looks like Plus One is going to be the tool that helps Google achieve that goal. Google has already stated that the number of Plus Ones a web page has will influence its search engine ranking in the future. It's for this reason that I highly recommend you add the Google Plus One button to your website and or blog. To help make this process easier, I'm going to walk you through the steps required in order to get the code supplied from Google uh, that you can copy and paste into your website. So to get started, head over to the URL google.com slash webmasters slash plus one slash button. Now that's going to bring you to the plus one configurator and as you can see on the screen there are a number of configuration options. Now you can choose the small configuration, which just gives you the plus one by itself. The standard, which gives you also the plus one count off to the right. A medium, which again gives you the count, or the tall, which gives you the count, the count over the top, which is traditional, it looks like the traditional Twitter button. Now I'm going to choose the standard configuration. Next, choose the language that you want. I'm going to leave it set in English. And then that's going to give you the code down at the bottom here. Now, this is a little different than the traditional social icons uh, with Twitter and Facebook. They're just going to give you one line of code. For Google, they give you two pieces of code and they need to go in different sections of the website. So this top section here, you're going to copy and paste, and you're going to place it in the head section of your website. The second portion of code, you're going to copy and paste, and you're going to place it wherever on the page you want the plus one button to render. Once you've placed these two pieces of code onto the page, that's it. Your, your button will be fully functional, and it will show up on the page. It's, it's really a pretty straightforward, simple process. Now, a couple things to note about the Plus One program. At this time, Google's still in testing. It's part of their Google Labs program. If you'd like to see the Plus Ones show up in your search results, you do have to opt into the program so that you can fully participate. In order to opt in, you can head over to the URL, google.com slash plus one slash button. Simply click try it now, and then you'll be prompted to take a few steps to fully enter into the program. You do need to be signed into your Google account to be able to participate. And you're only able to opt in to one Google Labs, pro Labs program at a time. Now, once you've opted in, you're going to start to see off to the right of the search engine listing, the little plus one icon show up next to all the different results. And then you'll notice that off to the right here where we have the pay-per-click ads, the little plus one icons over there as well. Now, like I said, this is a program you have to opt into to see this in your search results right now. But within a few months, expect to see this fully rolled out to everyone that's using Google. So that's pretty much it for the Google Plus One button. Thanks for joining me in this Metalogic Design TV tip. If you would like to hear more tips, head over to our blog at metalogicdesign.com slash blog, or you connect, can connect with us on Facebook, LinkedIn, or Twitter. Until next time, thanks again for joining me.